Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Thursday. Today is May 16th, 2019. Gracefully, God is carrying us through this month. Um, it doesn't rain in California, but girl, don't they warn you. It pours, don't do man, it pours. It never rains in Southern California. They tell me, guess what y'all, it's raining in Southern California. Hat my hat on today and a rub. So I guess I won't be able to do my walk outside. I'll just have to do it all inside. Anyway, looking at Proverbs 16 on today. So let's see. Man prepares, but God guides the tongue when wisdom is spoken. My youngest sister Stephanie says, BJ, prepare. Okay, so we prepare for this. We prepare for that. However, beloved, when wisdom is spoken from our tongues, it is God who is directing those tongues. Because we cannot speak uh, wise words without the guidance of the Lord. Once again, the fear of the Lord, it's what? It's the beginning of knowledge. And going through the Proverbs, we are learning here that we must seek God for wisdom and how wisdom will preserve us. So here, Proverbs 16 starts off by letting us know, although man prepares, it is God who guides the tongue when wisdom is spoken, that is, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, then the scripture goes on to say that there are things about man that are pure in our own eyes. However, God does what? He weighs the spirits. And so the commentator lets us know that, you know, we can pretty much do anything and find a way to justify it. I tell folks when I was living in my sins and boy, was I living in my sins, I could pick up the word of God and find a passage of scripture or twisted passages of scripture to do what? To justify what I was doing. Now that God has delivered me from such lifestyle living, I can pick up the same Bible and pick up scriptures that show just how foolish I was. So we can justify what we do. Here the scripture is saying that it's pure in man's own eye, in our own eyes. Uh, you, you, you can have criminals and they can justify why they did what they did. Well, they stole the, I stole the hundred dollars. Why? Because it was left there on the table. Beloved, who are you and no one's looking? Did I not steal the hundred dollars because people were watching or did I not steal the hundred dollars because I don't steal? See the difference there? But as a thief, one can do what? Justify why they did what they did. I mean, you left it in plain sight sitting on the front seat of your car. You left your keys in the car. So I figured you wanted me to take it. You made it easy for me. My mother used to say, Sharon, close your purse up. Don't make a thief out of nobody. A friend of mine said his mom always said, keep honest people honest. Close your purse up. Keep honest people honest. Don't go around tempting nobody. However, we can do wrong and justify it. And it's right in our own uh, stinking thinking, if you will. The scripture says, but it's God who weighs the spirit. God weighs the spirit. I can do this, I can do that, um, and perhaps I'm on the up and up. It isn't perceived as I'm on the up and up. Beloved, God weighs the spirit, and God knows the intent of the heart. Everything that we do, we must do it how? As unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. I was listening to uh, Pastor Dawn Gerard Smith, and she was saying that her g -ma told her at her bridal shower, drop some knowledge, no matter how mad you get, cook. Always cook dinner. Why? Because it's somebody somewhere 
who would be ready to do what what you ain't going to do. All right, Lucille, if you want, your sister will. Come on, somebody. Everything we must do as unto the Lord. We must do it as unto the Lord. You upset, don't feel like this or that, go on and do it anyway. How? As unto the Lord. Uh, commit our works first. Beloved, the word of God here is saying that we first need to commit our works to the Lord. Okay, I'm going to go do this and then God, I'm giving it to you. No, we have to give it to God first. Commit our works first unto the Lord. And then watch how God blesses it and works it out. It lets us know also, I'm so hungry this morning, that God does what? He has the right to claim what's his. Everything belongs to God. God said in his word, if I were hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. Why? Because a thou the, the cattle of a thousand hill, they all belong to me. Here the scripture is letting us know that God has to, the right to claim whatever is his. So we want to get mad over God or mad with God over this or over that. Beloved, it all belongs to God. So we need to just get our broke down, heartbreaking selves or heartbroken selves or upset selves and, and just get on and give God some praise and trust God and watch God work it out. Why? Because God does what's best for us. We don't see it at the time many times or oftentimes. But God does what's best for us. He allows what's best for us. He does what's best. So you're saying he allowed this turmoil or he allowed that or he allowed this or that. He allows it. And guess what? God is able to turn it. Does God tempt us? God don't tempt us. God does not tempt us. If we find ourselves in temptation or in a tempting situation, God didn't do that. Temptation does not come from the Lord. Now, are there lessons to be taught, things to be learned? Yes. Just like the widow might. The scripture says that what she learned in her giving, commentator lets us know that she learned that God is the source of her supply. So I'm going to give all that I have and I'm going to trust God. No match for God. I forget what that scripture said. Remember that play from the 70s or something like that? Your arm's too short to box with God? Here the scripture is saying, y'all can get together as many as you want. Guess what? Ain't no match for God. Mm -mm. We can sit up and get angry with God and want to fight God and, 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 and walk away from God. Please, we better watch who we playing with. Our atonement came how? Through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ here on Calvary was the atonement for what? For our sins. That's what got us through and gets us through today. When a man's ways please the Lord, he will cause even his enemies to be at peace with him. You ever been somewhere and you knew that nobody in that room liked you? Oh Lord, here we go, here we go, here we go. And guess what? They had nothing to say to you. When a man's ways please the Lord, he will cause even his enemies to do what? Be at peace with them. Your enemies will be the very ones to bless you. Why? Because your way is pleasing the Lord. We plan, but it is God who directs. Again, prepare. We plan. We make plans. However, beloved, it is God who does what he directs us. And then it says that the wisdom, the wise, they seek guidance. Here the scripture uses the word divination, not talking about the occult or things demonic, but the seeking of wisdom. So the wise, they what? They seek out guidance. And that divine guidance comes from who? Comes from the Lord. Honest. Wait. Oh. Honesty means a whole lot to the Lord. It means a great deal to God. And here, the honest ways in business dealings, be on the up and up. See that issue in the temple where Jesus turned over the money changers' tables? Again, beloved, it wasn't because they were selling fish dinners, but they were cheating the people. You know that fish sat out all night. Don't be going trying to feed that fish to the people. Ah, it'd be all right. It'd be all right. They stomach can take it. No. You having a barbecue dinner and you selling barbecue dinners for $12? Yeah. 
but you're only getting two bones? Come on now. You can't be going around cheating the people. Make that plate heavy. And if you're going to give a little food, don't go buy the big styrofoam tray. Buy the smaller styrofoam tray. But still, you got to give them more than two or three bones for $12. We know it's a fundraiser, but come on. You cannot go around cheating the people. Honest weights. Be honest in your dealings. Okay? So you pay $9.99 for it. So that means if you sell it for $19.99, you're going to make all your money and then some. But why you got to go sell it for $59.99? Okay, I'm just saying. Shut up, Sharon. Um, oh, and kings, those in position, don't, let me see, kings don't, I don't know what I wrote, but that last verse or one of those verses in there, kings, y'all got to be honest. Don't deceive the people. You know what I'm about to say? Let me get off this phone, get my breakfast, because like, y'all, I'm hungry. Oh. I can't go outside and get my walk on. Oh, look like it may have. No, it's still raining. But I'm going to get my breakfast, get my things upstairs. Then I'll just walk around the floor upstairs. And then I'll go inside, render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on tomorrow. From where? From my front seat. This is your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.